Hey guys, and welcome back to The Divine Witch. So today, I've been wanting to talk to you guys about Hestia's table for a while. And I know some of you have heard me during the live talk about Hestia's table, but I've never really made a video directly on Hestia's table as to what it is, what to expect, and what to look forward to. So Hestia's table was an idea that we had because we work with Dagda's Cauldron, but Dagda's Cauldron is only currently once a season. And we wanted to expand on what we were doing with Dagda's Cauldron, with the other pagan groups around us, along with being able to have something that we solely do within our community. So the idea was, you know, Hestia is home and hearth, about family. So we want to be able to take that side of our path and be able to present it to the community here in Ohio. Right now we currently got one location that has a table set up. Now you're going to see on the flyer Enchanted Moments they are accepting donations but they currently do not have a table set up since it's a dual ownership. The other owner hasn't um, gave the okay yet but one has so we're still waiting on that. So the basis of this is that we're going to do year-round donations. You guys know we've done food donations, we've done clothing, we've done school, and now we're doing holiday gifts as well. So each season we're going to be focusing on one particular area of what the community needs. But also we're going to leave it open as well like if there is a community member who has a fire. Um, and they lost everything. We will open up Hestia's table to gather resources for that family and so forth and so on. And, you know, we're hoping that this will also close the gap between, you know, the ideal of what pagans or witches is within our communities who may not know nothing about us and also within our own pagan communities to be able to bring resources together and work as one. So the video you guys are about to see is donations that we have received from our Patreon and from the tarot readings I do on live. This is not the only one we're going to be doing. There's many more to come. But this is just a sneak peek as to show you guys, hey, this is where your money's going. Um, we did want to do it to a shelter, but the shelter that we were going to donate to we have reached out to the coordinator, we got their voice message, and it said that they are not accepting donations at this time. So we went ahead and decided to go for toys for tots. So we ended up spending $70 so far and donated to the Combs Barbecue um, drop-off location, which by the way, if you've never been there, their barbecue food is it's awesome. And they treat you better than family. Like some say they treat you like family. No, they treat you better than family. They treat you like that long lost cousin who comes over during the holidays. That's how they treat you. You know what I mean? Like they treat you so good you don't want to leave, but you know you eventually got it. So you're also going to see their shop in there as well. They've been in this community longer than I've been alive, at least I think. And the food's good. And I support them. They're close to my house. You guys have seen me talk about them on lives when I'm sitting there eating their hot dogs. Which, by the way, I totally suggest the pulled pork barbecue hot dog. But I also like to get that smoky barbecue sauce put on top. Mwah. It's amazing. That's side the point. But you all know I'm a foodie. So I got to throw that in there too. So, like I said, you guys are going to see the donations being dropped off. Now, we are going to get together and also do, you know, the United Postal Service Santa. That's where you can actually adopt a family and be able to look at the children's list. It's sometimes clothes, sometimes it's games, sometimes it's toys. Sometimes it's just basic stuff that kids want. So, we are going to try to adopt as many families as we can, you know, along with trying to donate more to Toys for Tots. So... All the information between our Facebook page, the Hestia's Table page, Dagda's Cauldron page, and much more is going to be down below, along with Combs Barbecue, because they do so much for the community, and we want to give back to them as well. So, hopefully you guys enjoy this video, and if you want to know more, or if you just want to do a donation, and you don't want to book a reading, just email me at thedivinewitch at gmail.com. Alright guys, without further ado, here we go. 
Yep. Oh, I am recording. Hey guys, so we are here at Colm's Barbecue. And you know how we've been saying that we were going to do toys uh, for kids and me. Well, we tried to do it to the shelter and they've got everything that they need. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to drop off a donation here at Colm's Barbecue for Toys for Tots. So let's get to it. So this is everything, guys. Like there's toys, coloring. I don't know why those bags are in there because they're not supposed to be in there. So we're going to toss them to the side. Got these little guys. Got these. And they sing. We got the Santa. We got the little elf. I think there's snowman. I do apologize, guys. I am only got one hand. These are the little tanks. Wonder Woman, LOL. Plus, we got chocolate for the staff. Because you got to give them something, too. And then, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and head in here. Combs Barbecue. Look at all that. It's pretty neat. Never really paid much attention to it. It is. It's pretty cool, though. And look, oh, like an old school telephone booth. Tar.